Good morning, everyone. Time now, 7 o'clock. We are clear over the radar. We should stay this way through the rest of your morning. It is, if it's very muggy and very warm out right now, there is some morning fog. Temperatures are at 73 degrees. We're expecting showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. I'll have the timing and what to expect coming up in just a little bit. Now on Good Morning Augusta, South Carolina ranks high in the number of juveniles who are arrested. We're breaking down the numbers as your only source for local weekend morning news starts right now. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. And it's 7 o'clock. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sean Cabbage Star. And I'm Alex Moore. Sean, it is very humid out. It is very muggy out. It's going to so be. So it is in here, too. It's very, very <laughs> muggy in here. Uh, we're expecting showers and thunderstorms like what we saw yesterday. So some of those could have some very locally heavy downfalls and some pretty decent cloud to ground lightning. It's going to be an interesting day. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon about mm -hmm. it. And new on Good Morning Augusta, an Evans man is dead after he collapsed near a trail inside the Great Smoky Mountains National Forest in Tennessee. Officials say that 70 year old Kirk Lazar was hiking with his wife when he collapsed approximately 100 yards from the trailhead. We're told he died at the scene. No further details were immediately available. To South Carolina now, where new statistics show the state ranks high in the number of youths arrested. Our Georgia Godfrey explains. The United States Department of Justice reports that in 2017, more than 1,500 kids between the ages of 10 and 17 were arrested in South Carolina. A lot of the young people who are involved with our juvenile justice system are a part of the system um, for non-serious crimes. But more than 10,000 juveniles were referred to the South Carolina Department of Juvenile Justice. In 2017, 1,000 were placed in DJJ custody. Others had cases dismissed to receive probation or were placed in a youth arbitration program. Programs youth advocates say are needed before a child is sent to DJJ. When young people are detained, they have higher recidivism rates, meaning that they're more likely to return to a system. And that's why it's important for us to invest in those community-based alternatives because they seek to, to get at the root causes. School also plays an important role in keeping kids from behind bars. The majority of their time, their meaningful time, is spent in school. Which is why there has been a push to institute more mental health programs and resources in our schools. It's a quick fix. People don't want to deal with the problems when it comes to pro problem kids. Oftentimes when a child gets to the point where they have a referral to DJJ, there were some signs before. A few counties in the state have implemented intervention programs. However, there is not a statewide program. Their brain doesn't develop fully um, on average until 25. So if you're giving them adult consequences without some meaningful intervention, I don't know how effective it would be. And DJJ says the most common offenses for juveniles are assault and battery and burglary. One person is in jail this morning following the murder of a man in McDuffie County earlier this month. Sanriquez Williams was arrested late Thursday night. He's charged with killing Gabriel Jackson Jr. Jackson's body was found August 13th on Kelly Road in southern McDuffie County. A 15-year-old is also charged in the crime. And a look at the Jiffy Loop Skyview Network over Television Park here. As you can see, the sun is actually out, but we have plenty of fog and haziness over the CSRA. We saw tons of rain last night. It was a stormy evening into your overnight period that didn't really move a whole lot. So a lot of us saw some pretty good amount of rain last night. We're going to see more of the same today. Nothing in terms of precipitation right now. We should stay dry through your morning, albeit it's going to be very humid and very muggy. Temperatures right now are in the low 70s, but it feels like it's probably closer to the upper 70s with all the humidity. 72 in Evans, Grovetown, Fort Gordon, and Hepzibah. 73 here in Augusta, 70 in New Ellington. A little cooler out in Aiken at 68. We're expecting temperatures to be in the upper 80s. We probably will still feel warm, but we'll get showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon after lunchtime, and that will keep us just slightly cooler. As we get into the rest of your Saturday, we'll have some locally heavy rain with some of these thunderstorms, plus a little bit of a cool off. I'll have more on the timing of that coming up in just a little bit. Sean? All right, Alex, thank you so much. Heightened security this morning at a Graniteville church that's been the target of vandals. The latest crime costing the church more than $2,000 in repairs. Someone threw rocks through windows, egged the doors, and spray painted graffiti on the walls. We consider that it was premeditated because they brought eggs to egg the doors and, of course, marking pens to, to write what they wrote. 
And the church is working to get a security system. If you would like to help, look for the story on WJBF.com. The sheriff's office is still looking for the suspects. Now to a developing story in Augusta, a property owner sent to prison for embezzlement. Dozens of families who live in the Renaissance Village apartments were told they would have to move. The tenants were just notified that the apartments are under new management. We've requested an interview to learn more about the future living situations for these families. We'll let you know when we have that secured. Columbia County Schools will soon move its bus fleet. The school system announcing yesterday that it bought the old Greenfield property warehouse on Riverwatch Parkway in Evans. In addition to the bus fleet, the 315,000 square foot warehouse will be the new home of the Employee Training Center and Student Support Services Department. The superintendent says the new facility offers plenty of room to grow. And speaking of growth, Augusta University is expanding. Our Ashley Flett Day was at a groundbreaking Friday for the new science and math buildings at the downtown campus. The goals for the location of the new College of Science and Mathematics building? To help enhance Augusta University's attractiveness to students as the university continues to grow. The addition of research laboratories in the new building will better prepare professors and students in conducting scientific research and will help support the creation of additional graduate programs. The nearest uh, coffee shop will be in Harrison Commons, so they will be literally rubbing shoulders with the medical students and there will be casual conversations that they will learn the realities of health care and health care education. Executive Vice President of Academic Affairs Gretchen Kaufman says it's all about making the changes to grow forward. The question of how we're going to repurpose the current science building on the Somerville campus is a real hot topic. The move will leave the current science building as an open space for other colleges and programs on the Somerville campus to use. Expand the capacity of those that are really um, just on the verge of exploding. And classes aren't the only thing that are full. We get here like 7 in the morning to be able to park. For a 9 a.m. class. <laughs> yeah. Some say putting the new building on campus poses a bigger issue when it comes to finding a parking place. It wasn't a shuttle here for us. We came, so a bunch of us just kind of hiked and you know, walk, they didn't want to be late. Others say the good outweighs the bad. Being around these different colleges here, students who don't really know what they want to do, they can feel for what, what this school has to offer. And the 125,000 square foot building should be open sometime in 2021. Nearly 1,000 people in the Peach State are making history when it comes to plants. You're looking at kids from North Columbia Elementary School counting how many insects are attracted to pollinators. Those are the bugs that collect pollen during this time of year. And this is the first time that non-experts are taking a tally. The kids absolutely had a blast today. We've been going out since 9 o'clock this morning, and every hour we've had a group of kids to go out to tally how many of each pollinator they saw. And this is the first ever citizen count in the country. If you would like to participate, we have all you need to know on WJBF.com. A sober day on the campus of Payne College Friday. The college's former president, Dr. Julia Scott, was honored with a memorial service. Our photojournalist, Gary Hips, was there. celebrate the life and service of Payne College President Emeritus Dr. Julius S. Scott. Dr. Scott seized the day to do extraordinary things during his life and for Payne College. As a man of integrity, strength, courage, and compassion, Dr. Scott was also a bridge builder between the college and the wider Augusta community. But Dr. Scott went on to lead a life characterized by compassion love for people, thirst for knowledge, and a passion for influencing young minds. Julius was a positive person and would not want us to be sad today. If he were here, he would tell us to cheer up. He took what God intended seriously, and he tried to live according to Christian principles. He was an extraordinary person with extraordinary gifts, and he wrapped it all in humility. 
and switching gears, looking for a good time with gospel music here in the CSRA? Well, you're in luck. Coming up after the break, the first ever awards meant to entertain and inspire you. Hopefully we can get the sun out earlier in the day. That might make it a decent first half of the day for the pool. As we get into the afternoon, sh chances for showers and thunderstorms will be around, so it will be a little more difficult to hang out at the pool. We'll have more when we return. I got a job offer. I'm working undercover. I need someone I can trust. You honestly considering this? It'll keep me out of trouble. You think it's going to keep you out of you trouble? Might just do the trick. Why don't you let the cops handle it? And let someone else have all the fun. Got it from here, Dex. Two more in the trunk. I'm unstoppable. Tell me that that didn't just happen. Stop Town premieres September 25th. Keep it. On ABC. It's the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale, so celebrate in style. Choose your perfect look, like this one starting at just $5.99 or $11 a month interest-free. With this incredible selection, you're sure to save with interest-free financing until March 2024. From the piece to the package, bring home styles like this or this with easy interest-free financing starting at $5.99. Shop now during the Rooms to Go Labor Day sale. I trust U.S. Marine George Sink. No, George Sink was Marine. I really felt like I could trust them. An upstanding person, upstanding firm. No, George Sink was Marine. Shows me that he has integrity. Tells me that he likes to help people. No, George Sink was Marine. I really trusted George Sink injury lawyers. I am a veteran, and George Sink is a veteran. That's the reason I called. George Sink is a Marine. George Sink is a fighter. George Sink fought for our country, and he fought for me. My law firm wants to help you. Just call all night. Scratch Lucy. Dude, for real? Yeah, I taught her to scratch for me so I wouldn't miss a play. Scratch Lucy. Scratch. Lucy? Looks like this high roller just bought every hot dog in the stadium. I hope everybody else likes nachos. Lucy? She took my shades. <laughs> this season, it's anybody's game to win. Play the Atlanta Falcon Scratcher from the Georgia Lottery. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Visit your local Honda dealer and get a great deal while you can. The Honda Summer Spectacular event ends soon. Hey, welcome to Toyota's National, National Clearance, Clearance event. event. Yes. Now's the time to get a great deal on the last, last of the 2019. Huh. I'm impressed. But the deals will only last until September, September 3rd. 3rd. What am I thinking now? Right now, during Toyota's National Clearance event, lease a new 2019 Toyota Camry LE for just $209 a month for 36 months. That's just $209 a month on the Toyota Camry. Save on the last of the 2019s. Coming today! Okay, what's up? Toyota, let's go places. And I, the forecast for the lake is going to be decent for the first half of the day. It will be a little bit foggy out there as we get into the afternoon. That's when showers and thunderstorms will start popping up. Those will linger into the evening and the overnight period for your Saturday. So it will be a rainy, stormy Saturday on tap for us. we will be a little bit cooler, so enjoy the cooler temperatures, but it will be rainy. So take care and check the radar if you're going to be out and about today. Sean, over to you. All right, Alex, thank you so much. The first ever CSRA Gospel Music Heritage Awards are coming up soon. And joining me today to talk about it is Donna Westby. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Thank Good you morning. for having me. No problem. So why have this first annual award here in Augusta? Well, the CSRA is just home to many individuals who have helped to sustain or advance gospel music. And uh, the radio station where I'm the general manager, WAAW Shout 94.7 FM, in collaboration with LB Productions LLC and the University of South Carolina Aiken, is putting together the first ever CSRA Gospel Music Heritage Awards. We're going to uh, present 12 awards, and everybody is really excited that our headline artist, will be none other than gospel singer songwriter pastor john p king wow yes along with brian poppin and throughout the award ceremony we'll have some of our local favorites so it's just going to be a night as you said 
of recognition, but also inspiration for the community. Yeah, so um, who are some of the other names that we're going to see out there? Because it's a lot of people, like you said, will be yes, out there. Yes, and that's why it's going to be an annual event. So we'll be recognizing individuals like WJBF's own Parade of Quartets. Uh, they'll be receiving the media award. We'll be recognizing the radio announcers of the year, male and female, the quartet of the year, male and female, promoter of the year, uh, keeping quartet alive. Um, just so many awards and it's going to be a great night and we want everybody to still go out and get their tickets at the Convocation Center or you may go to our website and that is shout947.com. All right, how much are those tickets? Good question. 35, 45, 55, 75 and $100 for the dinner and the award ceremony. I like it, I like it. So let's talk about the dates and times for the Yes, event. again, that's Saturday, September the 7th, first Saturday in September, 6 to 7 p.m. will be the dinner, the VIP dinner, and the award ceremony will begin at 7.15. And what time it ends, we're anticipating around 9.45, but you know how the, the Holy Spirit gets, we just may have a good old time and go a little bit later, but we'll see. <laughs> I like that. Let the spirit have his way. There you go. All right. Anything else you'd like to add while we're here? I just want to thank all of our sponsors who have been a part of this event from the beginning. Our presenting sponsor, George Sink, PA Injury Law um, Lawyers. Also, Tom and Pam Powers of McDonald's of Aiken and so many others that we are very appreciative of and we'll also recognize that evening. All right, thank you. Thanks again. And we'll be right back. has a Labor Day sale. So why is Weinburgers any different? Because we have tons of quality Weinberger furniture at low, low prices. That's right. I bought a lot of extra inventory this summer and it needs to go at any price. We have store-wide markdowns on our huge selection in all three locations. Get great quality name brand furniture at huge discounts now through Labor Day. Give Weinburgers a shot this Labor Day. Get real discounts on real furniture. CoverGirl Clean Foundation, a non-acnegenic, kind-to-skin formula that won't clog pores. It's a lightweight foundation that breathes with you. From CoverGirl. Lowe's knows you're the type who does it right, who knows a hobby can also be an investment. We do it right, too, with a lifetime warranty on Craftsman, so you can count on passing it down. Get a Craftsman Mechanics tool set for $99. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's. I'm an ice cruncher, so I was excited about Colgate Total. It has sensitivity relief, so I don't have to give up doing what I love. Aren't we lucky? Colgate Total. Do more for your whole mouth. Accidents happen, but what if you could turn back the clock? At Kelly Paint and Body in Aiken, you can. Your car will look even better than before. You'll get high-quality automotive repair and superior customer service every time. Come see why we're known for honesty, integrity, and a lifetime guarantee. Kelly Paint and Body, like it never happened. 866 York Street in Aiken or on the web at kellypaintandbody.com. For the latest, most accurate information when severe weather approaches, trust the experience of George Myers and the live Viper 6 weather team. Weather coverage you can count on. Your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. 
And a look at the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network over Washington Road. As you can see, it is hazy, it is cloudy. We're going to be that way for most of the early morning portion, but we should start getting some sunshine as we get into the rest of your uh, Saturday morning. Going into Saturday afternoon, it's going to be a little bit different of a story. We are clear right now over the radar, nothing in terms of precipitation. So it is going to be at least a warm and muggy morning, but we won't see anything in terms of rain. We saw plenty last night. 73 degrees here in Augusta right now, 72 in Evans. 70 in Saluda, Edgefield, Thompson, also Barnwell and Bamberg, 73 in Sylvania and Swainsboro. So we're around that low 70s mark. We are still very muggy. It's 71 still here in Augusta, also Millen, Waynesboro, Louisville, Gibson, Lincolnton, and McCormick. So we're in that low 70s for the dew point. That's why things are feeling quite muggy. As you can see, we have plenty of moisture all over the southeast. That area of interest down here off of the coast of Miami is going to start bringing some more moisture into the area. That's got about a 90 percent chance of developing into a tropical depression this weekend. We also have one out in the middle of the Atlantic and that's going to probably develop into a tropical system within the next five days also. So we're going to be monitoring the tropics as we go through the rest of the week. But for today we are going to have a little bit more rain and storms like we saw yesterday. As we get into the afternoon around 1.30, that's when we could start seeing these showers and storms fire up. This front is uh, giving us enough lift that it's going to happen pretty early. And then as we get into your afternoon for Saturday, we'll definitely have some more showers and storms. That'll carry into the evening and the overnight period. Some of those could have some locally heavy downpours, plus a little bit of cloud to ground lightning, what we saw last night. As we go into Sunday morning, we should start to clear up Sunday afternoon, a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. But as you can see, the rotation here, that uh, tropical system starts to move in uh, to the southeast. That could bring us maybe a shower or two Sunday going into Monday, even Monday into Tuesday. So we'll monitor that as we go through Sunday and Monday to see if it does actually develop into something, uh, like a tropical depression or a storm. Uh, we're going to see a good amount of rain over the next two days, uh, about three quarters or uh, about three uh, tenths of an inch. Once uh, we do start to get some rain, that could help especially towards the southeast of the CSRA they are in a little bit of a drought temperatures over the next seven days a little bit cooler for the next three days but we'll start to climb back to normal rain chances are going to be up and down 70 percent today we'll taper it off then Tuesday we'll have about a 60 percent chance so we'll be up and down for the next couple of days with rain but today it's going to be another rainy stormy one so if you're going to be out and about just take caution when you're driving there could be some flooded roadways with the amount of rain we had last night along with uh, the extra rain we're going to have today. It's needed, but it's going to be a little bit messy today, Sean. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the rain because like you said, we need it. Cooler temperatures too. I like it. An unlikely act of empathy around the corner from Wall Street. It's all caught on camera and it's coming up next. Negotiate your salary. You're worth every penny. You're never too old to get the band back together. At Regions, we think there's only one way to manage your money. Your way. And our award-winning service can help you find it. Save your allowance. Growing up gets expensive. Switch for good. Regions has the people, tools, and tech to move you forward. Edna is fun and independent and didn't want her health issues to burden her family. So her daughter bought her My Sophie a health monitoring system that allows Edna's daughter and doctor to monitor her health at all times. Learn more at mysophie.com. Three-fourths of seniors have at least one chronic health condition. My Sophie Health Monitoring provides 24-7 access to a nurse call center, appointment and medication reminders, an app to update loved ones, and much more. Learn more at mysophie.com. Guys, it's back! Inline skating. Rock and roll hair. Calling this thing a pound sign instead of a hashtag? No, the Zensation is back at Zaxby's. The Zensation salad is back and introducing the new Zensation filet sandwich meal with hand breaded chicken, Asian slaw, wonton strips, and citrus vinaigrette. Both served with an egg roll. The Zensation salad and filet sandwich meal, only at Zaxby's. Just beds, it feels so good. 
This Labor Day, save the max and pay no tax at Family Owned Just Beds. A special buy Serta Twin Mattress just $99 or Simmons Queen Mattress only $399. Get our biggest savings of the year and save up to $900 on select Serta Eye Comfort or Beauty Rest Black Mattresses and adjustable sets. Plus, pay no tax. For a limited time, get a Serta Special Edition King Mattress for the price of a queen. Plus, free delivery setup and removal. Save the max and pay no tax only at Family Owned Just Beds. Get 35% off your new vehicle now in Thompson. New 2019 Challenger or Charger SXTs. Zero down, $279 a month, $279. Get a 55-inch flat screen with any new vehicle purchase. It's the Labor Day sales event. Get 0% APR. Drive payment free till November. It's all at JeepJeep.com. Over 600 new vehicles. Some up to 35% off. Thompson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. Get a 55-inch flat screen today. Time now to take a look at Caught on Camera. A savage cat in California is taking on coyotes and winning, and it's all caught on video. Gray Kitty, as he's known, may look cute and playful, but coyotes better beware. Security cameras captured a confrontation recently at his home. Neighbors say that the kitty is an outdoor cat, likely left behind by someone who moved. The family says that the cat doesn't meow but growls, and that could be what's scaring the coyotes away. A homeless man in New York City given a second chance. He was given a pair of shoes by a stranger passing him while jogging earlier this week. David Wright has more. Around the corner from Wall Street, an unlikely act of empathy. A mystery jogger quietly gave a homeless man the shoes off his feet. God has been very nice to me, you know. Um, well, I feel like I should bless you too. Here, take my shoes. And he took them off and he gave them to me. Giving new balance to Joe Arroyo in more ways than one. He told me they're a size 13. He asked me my size. This random act of kindness from a barefoot Good Samaritan was caught on camera by a woman who just happened to be stopped in traffic. What she didn't catch is the skip in the step this gesture gave to Joe. If you give me the chance, I'll be the most amazing worker you could have. <laughs> and I do overtime. People do care. People want to help. Andrew Zarecka saw the story on WABC. He owns a string of food trucks and believes in second chances. I have openings in, in three of my restaurants uh, where we'd be happy to have you. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't know what to say. I wanted to like hug the guy or something, but then a homeless man hugging somebody is not normal out here. So A modern twist on the old adage, walk a mile in someone's shoes. In this case, truly a path to redemption. David Wright, ABC News, New York. And a patient who used e-cigarettes died after being hospitalized with respiratory issues. We'll have those details coming up. But first, let's listen to New York, where Dan Harris is standing by with a look at what's coming up on Good Morning America. Good morning, Dan. Hey, good morning. Coming up on GMA, President Trump arrives in France for a summit of global leaders. After a volatile week, the market's dropping as the trade war with China escalates with American consumers caught in the crossfire. Plus, Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg undergoing radiation treatments for pancreatic cancer, her ongoing treatment, and what she says about her health moving forward here. And finally, a story of perseverance. A year after the massive fire in Paradise, California, the town coming together for a high school football game. We're going to show you the massive crowds, and we'll tell you who won. It's all coming up on GMA. We'll see you very soon. America's home place, the home you want, where you want it. Where's the best place to buy furniture this Labor Day? Great deals on furniture, of course. Do you want the lowest prices on name brand furniture? We've got them. Where's the largest selection of reclining sofas, bedrooms, mattresses, and more? Here they are. Who's got the best finance offers in town? We do. And is it in stock and ready to go? Absolutely, that's what we do. Your choice is clear for the best furniture deals this Labor Day. Head to Great Deals on Furniture. Open Labor Day Monday, 10 to 6. Is this the world's best sandwich? Nope. Lance's real peanut butter between two toasted crackers is the best. Pick up Lance sandwich crackers, now in bite-sized minis.
New vehicles, 35% off in Thompson. It's the Labor Day sales event. New 2019 Fiat Spider Convertibles. Zero down, $2.99 a month. It's all at JeepCheap.com. Get a 55-inch flat screen with any new vehicle purchase. New Jeep Renegade Latitudes, just $2.29 per month. New 2019 Jeep Wrangler 4x4s, now $25.9, up to 35% off. New cars from 14.4, Thompson, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram, Fiat. Get a 55-inch flat screen today. Injured in a car wreck? Call all nines and George Sink Injury Lawyers will burn rubber. You're injured. You're out of work. Medical bills are piling up. Time is critical. At George Sink Injury Lawyers, our team is built for speed. We work hard to put you on the right track and help get your money faster. Wow, that was fast. I'm glad I called all nines. Call George Sink Injury Lawyers now. Now that's a photo finish. I finally did it. Popeye's new chicken sandwich. Mm. I've been trying to make the perfect chicken sandwich forever. Um, how does that make you feel? You know me. It had to be just right. Mm -hmm. Finding a bun as good mm. as my chicken was not easy. Mm. I mean, I did it, obviously. I think we've made a lot of progress here. I feel great. Good talk. Mm. I'm proud of you. My new chicken sandwich is buttermilk battered and served on toasted brioche. Try it in spicy or classic. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Download the free News Channel 6 mobile app on the App Store and Google Play. The News Channel 6 network on WJBF.com, powered in part by the McCormick Messenger, delivering the news since 1902. Live from Television Park, this is WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, Augusta. Hey, y'all. It's 7.30. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Sean Cabbage Talk alongside meteorologist Alex Moore. So, Alex, you basically said keep the rain gear near because we're going to have a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Yes, it's going to be a carbon copy day like we saw yesterday, but luckily we'll get it probably more in the first or the beginning of the day. Well, I say the beginning, but the afternoon. So it might not last into the evening or the overnight like we saw yesterday, but it could. We are going to see rain and storms today regardless it is a foggy start the sun is trying to peek through and hopefully we can get it to peek through and warm up just a little bit but if it doesn't that might actually help to, uh, keep some of the rain at bay in the afternoon but it is still a warm and muggy start to your Saturday as you can see on the radar there's nothing in terms of precipitation over the CSRA but that front is over us so as we get into the later portion of your Saturday, those storms will start firing up in the afternoon. Temperatures right now are in the low 70s, 73 here in Augusta, 72 in Evans, Grovetown, Fort Gordon, and Hepzibah, also Blythe, 68 in Aiken, 70 in New Ellington. So it's still in that low 70s range, and it's right around the same point as the dew point. So that's why it's foggy. That's why it's muggy out. It is swampy just about everywhere in the CSRA. That's going to set us up for showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Around 1 or 2 o'clock, those should start firing up. Those will last through the evening, maybe even into the overnight period. What we saw yesterday will be uh, some spotty at times, but we could see showers and thunderstorms through Saturday, maybe even through Sunday. I'll have more on the timing coming up in just a little bit. Sean? All right, Alex, thank you so much. Now to growing health alert alert rather authorities investigating what could be the country's first death linked to vaping in Illinois a patient dying from severe respiratory illness the question this morning are e-cigarettes to blame more now from Will Jones the number of e-cigarettes or vaping hospital cases has doubled in the past week in Illinois the Illinois Department of Public Health announcing one person has died we know this individual had a significant severe respiratory illness uh, and died while hospitalized 22 people ages 17 to 38 have been hospitalized after experiencing respiratory illness in the state. The case is happening in several counties, including Cook and DuPage. At this time here in Illinois, we do not know what is contributing to these respiratory illnesses. The common link among our 22 cases is that all individuals have a reported history of recent vaping or use of electronic uh, devices. In many cases, patients have used THC containing products. The American Vaping Association reacting, saying in part, each day of this crisis brings more evidence that street vapes containing THC or other illegal drugs are responsible for these illnesses, not nicotine vaping products. We continue to call on the CDC and FDA to not only promptly investigate these incidents, but also act to ensure that adult smokers know that nicotine vaping products remain a far safer alternative to smoking. 
State health officials issuing this warning today about the dangers of vaping. So we urge people to use caution and consider avoiding the use of such material. State health officials are not releasing much information about the victim or the location for privacy reasons. They're also looking into 12 other cases of severe lung illness that could be tied to vaping. And Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg tackled her fourth bout with cancer. Friday, the Supreme Court revealed she received three weeks of radiation therapy for pancreatic cancer earlier this month. Doctors found a tumor after a routine blood test in early July. According to the high court, the tumor was treated and there's no evidence that the disease is elsewhere in the body. They say that Ginsburg does not require any more treatments at this time. One small coastal county is making big news thanks to the power of people. In Liberty County, Georgia, south of Savannah, the council has passed a motion that could make it the first county in the south to erect a statue of an African American on the courthouse lawn. This is according to State Representative Al Williams. The statue will be of Ralph Quarterman, who started the first NAACP chapter in 1953 in Liberty County. And still ahead, the government wants to see more retired service members start their own businesses, find out what assistance is being offered. And we are getting into the tropical peak of hurricane season. We're getting closer to that September 10th mark. As we do, we're going to start ramping up the tropical activity. We do have some systems out there. I'll have more on that coming up in just a little bit. Live Viper 6 Skyview Network, powered by Jiffy Lou Multicare. This week on Local Living, we speak with America's Home Place and visit one of their new homes to speak with the proud new homeowners. Then, find out how you can help make a difference for the Alzheimer's Association. Local Living, Saturday night at 7 and Sunday at noon on News Channel 6. People are really excited about Toyota's national clearance event. Congrats. <laughs> Lease a new 2019 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $219 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. The all-new Georgia Cuts announces our VIP unlimited membership for only $15.99 per month. That's right, for the price of a single haircut, you get unlimited haircuts, shampoos with steam towels, and all the cleanups in between for just $15.99 per month. With the Georgia Cuts unlimited membership, you'll also receive 35% off colors, perms, and stylings. Why pay for a single cut when that price gets you unlimited visits to Georgia Cuts, locally owned by a veteran and located at the center of Evans Shopping Center next to Evans Walmart? Why get a haircut when you can get a Georgia Cut? Prime Steakhouse. For 12 years, the CSRA's only upscale steakhouse. World-class wines, dry egg steaks, when only excellence will do. In beautiful downtown Aiken. Webster defines teacher as one whose occupation is to instruct, but a great teacher does so much more than instruct. They challenge our children to improve and excel every day. They listen, solve problems, and encourage their students to make good choices. They inspire them to reach for their dreams. A great teacher is a role model for their students. Hi, we're Carol and Eddie Kennedy with Great Deals on Furniture. If you know a teacher that encourages students to do their very best, nominate them for the Golden Apple Award at WJBF.com. Perfectly Aged Historic Augusta's Benefit Auction will be held on Thursday, September 12th. Bid on spectacular trips, wines, antiques, and local art. All proceeds raised during this fun and festive evening benefit the preservation efforts of Historic Augusta. The final days to get a great deal on a new Toyota are here. Save on the last of the 2019s while there's still time. Guys, I have three seconds left. Get 0% APR for 48 months on an all-new 2020 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. And we're expecting showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. As we get into the evening and the overnight period, those could linger. Once we get into Sunday, we'll start to taper those rain chances back just a little bit. They will still be there. Plus, Monday, we will have a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms and cooler temperatures. I'll have more on the timing for the rain this weekend and what to expect this upcoming week coming up in just a little bit. All right, Alex, thank you. The federal government wants to make it easier for veterans to start small businesses. This week, the Small Business Administration renewed its commitment to entrepreneurs who serve our country. Our Bree Jackson explains. During a visit to the White House, Quincy, Illinois Mayor Kyle Moore says addressing veterans' issues is a top priority for his community. First and foremost, the care and support of our veterans. 
Moore says that includes much needed improvements to Illinois' veterans' home. The Trump administration is partnering uh, with the state of Illinois to invest over $200 million at the Illinois Veterans Home in Quincy. And this is a post Civil War facility uh, that provides health care and retirement uh, to our heroes. In addition to health care, White House officials say they're focused on helping veterans transition from the battlefield into the workforce. Last year, President Trump donated his second quarter salary of nearly $100,000 to the Small Business Administration. Officials tell me some of that money is being used to help veteran-owned businesses. How do you scale? How do you get to that next level? And that's where this next program is going to take it. Chris Pilkerton, acting administrator of the Small Business Administration, says the president's paycheck helped fund a recently launched pilot program that includes training military veterans and their spouses to be successful entrepreneurs. Pilkerton says the agency is also working to connect small business owners with larger companies. And some of the small businesses are going to learn how can we get some of the best practices that the large businesses are using in incorporating veterans into some of the things we do. Officials say they hope to equip veterans with the business skills and resources they need to grow. In Washington, Bree Jackson. Your Live Viper 6 forecast is up next. Oh, the joy and happiness that comes with buying a new home. But there's so much to do already. Go to Georgia811.com. Always go to Georgia811.com or call 811 before you dig. It's not only the smart and safe thing to do, it's the law. Georgia811.com. It's the Rooms to Go Labor Day Sale, and we're giving you more ways to save. With great-looking sectionals on sale now for $19.99, make the family room your favorite room for just $37 a month interest-free. Shop leather sectionals, upholstered sectionals, reclining sectionals, too. Find your perfect sectional like this and more for just $19.99 or $37 a month interest-free until March 2024. That's right now during the Rooms to Go Labor Day Sale. That's Ensure Max Protein with high protein and one gram sugar. It's a sit up and an abandon the waist. I'm trying. Keep it up. You'll get there. Whoa! 30 grams of protein and one gram of sugar. Ensure Max Protein. Need a nice reward today? Treat yourself to a Heath bar. Because nothing says special like rich English toffee. Heath. It's English toffee. With this one little next guard chew comes the confidence you're doing what's right to protect your dog from fleas and ticks for a full month. And it's the only chew FDA approved to prevent infections that cause Lyme disease. Next guard, what one little chew can do. More than 200 billion emails are sent each day. To avoid becoming a cyber victim, be suspicious of unsolicited emails. Never reply or click on attachments. And when in doubt, delete. Visit wjbf.com cyber for more information. The WJBF Live Viper 6 Skyview Network, brought to you by Jiffy Lube Multicare. Now, your most accurate forecast with WJBF Live Viper 6. And a look at the Jiffy Lube Skyview Network over SRP Park. Looking the other way, it is quite foggy over the river, actually over the whole CSRA. The sun is out, but it is being blocked off by a nice hazy layer of fog and clouds just above the surface. So we're going to see this for the rest of the morning. Hopefully we'll start to break that up as we get into the later portion before lunchtime. In terms of precipitation, we don't have anything over the CSRA right now. We saw plenty of rain last night, so we could use a little bit of a dry out, but this afternoon looks like we're going to get some more showers and, and storms. 73 degrees still here in Augusta right now. 70 in Barnwell, Aiken, Edgefield and Saluda. 71 in Gibson, Sparta, Sandersville. 72 in Evan and Thompson.
So it is still in the lower 70s, but our dew point is still very close to that, so it is very muggy out right now. 71 in Augusta, Waynesboro, Millen, Louisville, Gibson, Washington, Lincolnton, 69 in Evans. So we're around that 70 degree mark, so everything is still feeling very, very humid and muggy. As you can see, we have plenty of water vapor and moisture over the southeast in general. We have that area of interest just off the coast of Florida. It's got about a 90% chance of becoming a tropical depression sometime between uh, today and tomorrow, probably uh, most likely. And then we have another area off down uh, in the middle of the Atlantic that has about a 70% chance that kind of blew up in about 24 hours. So that has a good chance of becoming a tropical depression within the next five days also. But we are going to have a front situated over us, and that's going to bring us showers and thunderstorms as we get into the early portion of your afternoon. Around 1.30, that's when things will start popping up. This front starts to sag a little bit, and as we get to the north side of this front, that's when things will start to cool off. But we have to go through uh, the pain of going through showers and storms again on your Saturday. As we get into Sunday, that's when we will clear up for the morning. It probably will be foggy again for your morning on Sunday. As you can see, tons of cloud cover over uh, the entire southeast for Sunday morning. As we get into the afternoon portion of the day, we'll start to get that moisture from the system. That's going to bring it into the southeast, and that could bring us, as you can see, a shower or a storm Sunday evening into Sunday night. Monday morning will clear up, and then as we get into Monday afternoon, we might see another shower or storm from this system. So we'll monitor that as we go through the week. Our rain chances are going to be there for the weekend. We will see about four uh, tenths of an inch. It will be a little bit wet, but we could use it. We are still a little dry over the Augusta area. Temperatures right now are going to be a little bit cooler than normal. 91 is our average. Rain chances are going to be up and down. 70% will taper that off. 60 again once we get into Tuesday. Your seven day forecast is looking a little bit cooler to start off with chances of showers and thunderstorms. It will be a wet Saturday. As we get into the week, we'll stay cool to start, but we'll return those rain chances along with the 90 degree temperatures. So it's not, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're starting to see a little bit of fall creep into the area. We also have the weather question of the day. It's not quite a doozy, but it is a good one. Mm -hmm. What is the speed of sound in miles per hour since we are in America? 453, 298, 942, or 767? Sean? Well, of course, I want to check in with our friends on Facebook. Cindy and Justin both went with D. So I think I'm going to go with D as well. 767. And control room? They're, they're following suit. They're saying oh. D2. Well, I will have the answer and an explanation coming up at the end of the show. Sports is next. Sports is next. Yay, sports. Whether you're injured at the intersection of Deans Bridge Road and Gordon Highway or anywhere in Augusta, get the lawyer you need right in your hometown. Get the strong arm. Attorney John Foy and Associates. Our customers at Weinberger's Furniture love to spend time outside. That's why we have a big outdoor furniture showroom in Augusta. We have the latest sofas, sectionals, tables, chairs, love seats, chases, bars, and more. Hurry in for our end-of-season Labor Day patio sale. All in-stock patio furniture has just been marked down again. Huge discounts available from now until September 2nd. Where can you find everything you'll ever need for your perfect patio all at the best prices? At Weinberger's. Of course. Summer savings continue here at Thompson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat I-20 exit 172. Thompson Rams, 30% off. That's got over 200 Rams, Crews, 4x4s, Hemis, Cummins, all here waiting for you New at Thompson. New Ram Crew Cab, 24.9. That's right, 30% off. You can save over 11,000 here at Thompson. New Crew Cab Express, 31.4. 30% savings, over $13,000 is what you'll save. New regular crew cab, Tradesman, 21.3. That's another 30% off where you could save over $9,100 at Thompson. New Ram crew cab, Bighorn, 4x4, 37.9. Lot of extras for a lot less money, over $13,300. New Ram four-door express, 26.7. 30% savings over 11.6 here at Thompson. Summer savings waiting for you here and online at JeepCheap.com. It's Thompson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat I-20, exit 172, minutes down the road from anywhere. Come see us, and we'll show you why we make buying easy. At Kroger, you'll always find more ways to save, like great sales. 
digital coupons, fuel points, and now a new way to get extra fuel points. Go online to find out how and enjoy the savings. News Channel 6. Now at 4 o'clock, starting August 26th. When was the last time you were on the road and didn't see somebody who was driving with a phone in their hand? If you've been in a wreck caused by one of these careless drivers, call me immediately. A distracted driver can be held accountable for the full cost of your accident, so don't wait. Now, sports coverage you can count on. Welcome into the Saturday morning edition of Football Friday Night. I'm Brendan Robertson alongside Colin Cody. Now look, we had a good game plan. We had practiced, we were ready, and all the teams had practiced and were ready, but uh, Mother Nature just didn't cooperate last night. So many games canceled, postponed, a few of them got to finish, and some will finish this morning. That's right, Brendan. So we're going to show you what we do have. Yeah, we'll show you a little bit. First, the, games. the important stuff, though, these are the games that have been rescheduled. Aquinas at Laney will be later today, 2 o'clock at Aquinas, and there's no admission for that one. Uh, Barnwell, Will, Snelko, it's 28-14, Barnwell leading. They're going to resume that one later today, 10 a.m. Same thing for Strom Thurmond at Saluda. The Rebels are up 14-8, to I believe, over Saluda. Again, 10 a.m., they're going to get it going. Jefferson County, Swainsboro never got going. That'll be Monday at 6. Our Game Night Live game of the week never got going. They're going to do that Monday at 7. We will not be able to bring that to you on air as the Game Night Live game of the week. We will have highlights for you of that one come Monday night. Some other ones, uh, Josie Cross Creek never got started, Monday 6.30. ARC Hepzibah did get started, canceled, will not be made up. South Aiken lost to Greenwood, 21-12. Augusta Christian beat Augusta Prep, 21-0. Wagner Sally beat Pelion. Uh, batesburg Leesville lost to Rich Spring Manetta, 21-0. That game was called in the third quarter. Grovetown lost to Richmond Hill, I can tell you. Midland Valley, Lakeside, was 3-0 Lakeside, delayed after the first quarter. Never got going again. Not going to be made up. And uh, I think that's about it. You can go to the website, wjbf.com, to the sports page, and see all the rest. All right, Strom Thurmond hosting Saluda. Rebels, Tigers, both with high expectations. A lot of guys back from solid teams a year ago. Packed house in Edgefield County because, well, that's just the way they roll. First quarter, Tigers quarterback Noah Bell threw for a ton of yards last year. He can run, too. Couldn't find a receiver, so tucks it, eight-yard gain. Next play, Bell, designed run, goes around the left side, picks up 15 yards and a first down, and this right here, flag for the late hit, tack on some more. So the Tigers set up shop at the Rebel 7. Bell going to toss it on the sweep to Dallin Wright, diving for the pylon, give that man six. It's six nothing. Now how about this? The old water bucket play from Saluda for a two-point convert. What? Where's the ball? It's in the hands of number 22, Montrevious Baker, fighting through the beef into the end zone, 8 nothing Tigers. The Rebel offense struggled in the first half, but their defense picked it up for Antoine Hillary's ball club. Allen Williams for the Rebs, making the interception in the half. Late to set up the Rebel offense in great field position, and the Rebels finally on the move. Got a bunch of playmakers. Charquez Booker around the right side. And he picks up a big five-yard gain. Next play, Stanley Hill, another one of the guys making plays for this team. Up the middle, splits the defenders, rambles to the seven-yard line. Penalty would back up Strom Thurmond, but only five yards, and they go to Jaquan Harris. He took care of that, runs it all the way down in, fighting through, gets to the two-yard line. Next play, Devron Harris takes it in, goes for the score, and it was 8-6, but then the lightning rolled in. The end of the third quarter, so again, Saturday, today, 10 a.m., Rebels leading 14 to 8. This one will resume. And Brendan, Barna Warhorses played in the 2A state championship just a year ago. Now, Dwayne Garrick and company expect to bring the title home this season. Derek Youngblood and the Willison Elko had some growing pains last year in dealing with injuries earlier this season. Now, Youngblood and Barnwell, Dwayne Garrett going at it. Craig Pender passes to Ener Bynum. For 10 yards for the 35-yard line in Williston. That's going to go all the way. Barnwell, three plays later, Craig Pinter hands it off to Jamari Chisholm. He goes 30 yards for the TD. PAT is good. Barnwell leads 7-0. Moving on. JT Miller takes it to Williston all the way to the 35-yard line. And 
coming up. Barwell on their third drive of the game and their second play. It's going to be Craig Pender again. He passes it. On the run, he finds my man, TJ Miller, who takes it to the end zone for a 35-yard touchdown. These two were inseparable last night. The PAT is good. Barnwell leads 14-0. Final score is coming up 28-14. But both teams managed to get some scoring in before the weather postponed the game. And That's another one they're going to make up. Yeah. It'll start 28-14 at 10 a.m. All the scores and whatever highlights we had are on the website. And well, it'll get better in week two. For Colin Cody, I'm Brennan Robertson. Thanks for tuning in to the Saturday edition of Football Friday Night. What's the weather like tomorrow? Who won last night? What's happening around town? Find out at WJBF.com. It's coverage you can count on anytime. Ashley Home Store's Labor Day sale is going on now. Hurry in and save up to 20% off store-wide and get up to 50% off hot buys. Plus, get an extra 5% off your entire purchase when you open and use your account. At Ashley Home Store, this is home. At Advanced Services, we're taking a new approach to pest control using scientifically proven eco methods. Advanced Services specialized technicians are keeping your home free from pests and termites. We go above and beyond to keep your home safe from unwanted guests, guaranteed. Visit us online at bugstopper.com. Advanced Services, your neighborhood team bug stopper. Now in Thompson, it's the Labor Day sales event. Get 35% off new Rams. Now 19-2. No payments till November. Get a 55-inch flat screen with any new vehicle purchase. Save up to $12,700 on new Thompson Rams. Shop anytime at JeepJeep.com. New Ram 4 doors from 22-7. Zero down delivers. And get up to 35% off today. Thompson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat. Take home a 55-inch flat screen today. Ashley Home Store's Labor Day mattress sale is going on now. Take home a chime by Ashley Mattress today and sleep better tonight. Starting at just $1.99. Unpack, unroll, and unwind. It's that easy at America's number one furniture and mattress store. Ashley Home Store. This is home. What to eat today? Bust out the maple syrup and go get yourself some waffles on National Waffle Day. Today marks the anniversary of the first U.S. patent from a waffle iron. It was issued on August 24, 1869 to a gentleman by the interesting name of Cornelius Swartwout. I, I think Swartwout? Hey, that'll work for me. Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of ways to celebrate, so how will you celebrate today, Alex? I, I'm on a budget, so mm -hmm. maybe get one of those uh, Eggos, maybe <laughs> one of the... the the frozen ones from Kroger. I might yeah, go Eggos, do that. Right? Yeah, yeah. I haven't had any Lego my ego. Yeah, I haven't had any of those for a long time. Yeah. Well, I'm not really a pancake person, so I guess I'm not celebrating Pancake Day. Oh mm -hmm. well. I'm sure it's going to be something else for us to celebrate tomorrow. <laughs> of course. And of course, we have the weather question of the day. What is the speed of sound in miles per hour? It is 767. Good job, everyone. Got it right. Good job. Yes, we had tons of lightning yesterday, so I figured we would do the whole, what is thunder? Thunder is just a product of lightning. It is the uh, expansion and uh, collapse of the air around lightning. When it heats up, it will uh, expand and then it comes back and it makes that clapping noise and that's what you hear. The best thing to do is once you do uh, see some lightning every four seconds it's about a mile away. So ah. That's uh, kind of the tip that we give but if you do hear thunder roar go indoors please. All right thank you and thank you for joining us have a great day we'll see you tomorrow.